What is up, my friends and family? I'm Charmix, and today I'm gonna be reacting to "Stung by a Tarantula Hawk" by Brave Wilderness. Now, Brave Wilderness or Coyote Peterson is like the modern day Steve Irwin, and uh, he's been doing this this thing where he goes and gets bitten by like different insects, and he's going up on like the pain scale. And I think this is. Uh, second last, I think. I mean, the bullet ant is next, which I've already reacted to that one. I kind of did it backwards. But, uh, so this is, like, right below the bullet ant. It should be quite interesting, to say the least. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. The original link's in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to Brave Wilderness. That link's also in the description. And with that being said, let's begin. I think we can all agree that I have done some pretty crazy things. Oh yeah, I, I think we can all agree. <laughs> Instead of Coyote Peterson, it should be Crazy Peterson. <laughs> if the bullet ant is the grand finale on my quest to find the most painful sting in the insect kingdom, the tarantula hawk is definitely the last act. That is... And right now Mark is shooting B-roll of terrifying. it inside his little glass enclosure. And boy, it does not look happy. Oh, that's the that's the tarantula hawk making that sound. I thought it was someone in the background with a weed whacker. <laughs> I'm like, why is someone in the background using a weed whacker? <laughs> that the sting of the tarantula hawk is number two on the insect sting pain index. It's like being stunned with a taser, and they say it puts you into a state of paralysis for up to five minutes, where all you can do is scream. Now, the tarantula hawk is the second most painful sting in the insect kingdom. The only thing more painful than this is the bullet ant. And I felt that to work my way up the rungs of experiencing these painful insect stings, I kind of had to see what it was like to be stung by a tarantula hawk before I actually take on the bullet ant challenge. Now, I reacted to the bullet ant one, like, first. I'm kind of doing things backwards. I Whatever. But uh, he... <laughs> He did live from the bullet ant one, and it was quite intense, so I'm expecting this one to be almost as intense, but maybe just a little bit less, because this one supposedly isn't as painful. Deep breath. All right, let's bring in the wasp. Oh. oh, boy. It's oh huge. Oh, my goodness. That's a big one. That is the largest species of wasp in the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you look at this insect. And you say to yourself... No, I say no. I will not go anywhere near that. That's what I say. Tarantula hawk. Well, it's not a tarantula, and it's not a hawk. But like a hawk, they hunt for tarantulas. What? What? These females will do... That thing can kill a tarantula? ...is fly around in the sky, and they can actually sense chemicals in the air that will tell them where a tarantula's burrow exists. Oh, that's crazy. Skitter across and go down into the burrow. They will use their front arms to tempt that tarantula to come up out of its burrow And that is where a boxing match begins the tarantula hawk will dodge left and right Taunting that tarantula until it rears up on its back legs and exposes its fangs now You would think that tarantula is going to bite down and kill the tarantula hawk Not gonna happen this hawk is so quick, she will spin her abdomen up underneath the belly of the tarantula, insert that quarter inch stinger, and the venom will instantly put that tarantula into a state of paralysis. That's nuts! That's nuts! That tarantula hawk has got some cojones. Now the tarantula is not dead. It's just like this. Ah, I'm in intense pain and I cannot move. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the true horror story begins. It's in a state of paralysis, and the female pulls the tarantula back down into its burrow, and there she proceeds to lay an egg on top of its abdomen. She then leaves the burrow, and the tarantula is left there, still alive and in a permanent state of paralysis. Eventually, that egg hatches, and the larva then eats the tarantula while it's still alive. That's insane! Oh my goodness, nature is brutal. How's that for one crazy horror story? This is absolutely crazy. But I think if you guys are ready, I am ready to be I'm not ready. by the tarantula hawk. <laughs> I'm not ready. Go, guys. Don't do it. Butterfly net. I'm going to lift this up. 
we're going to actually place the capsule inside of the butterfly net, just like that, lift it up. Now I have a set of entomology forceps here. See that? And these have a very soft tip. I'm gonna be able to pick up the wasp with these forceps. But what I'm gonna do first is reach my arm in there and remove the glass capsule. Once the glass capsule's out, the net will fall down on the wasp and I'll be able to insert the forceps in there, pick up the wasp, and remove it from the net. Okay, ready? Here yeah, I guess the difference between this one and the other um, like bugs that have bitten him are that the other ones don't really fly, but this one can. So you have to try to grab it without it flying away. And that brings me to the question, how do you even get this, you know, tarantula hawk in the first place? Because it must have been very hard if they can fly away. Here we go. So the butterfly net is here to try to prevent the wasp from flying away. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How hard was it to catch this wasp? Extremely difficult. We've That's been trying for days to catch one of these. Okay, this is good. Part one, successful. Part one is good. I'm gonna remove the stick. Stick is out. Okay, now I'm going to fold this over okay. like that. This is the last little break between you and being stung. What's going through your mind? <sighs> yeah, what would happen if you were to get stung now and the camera couldn't really get it because the wasp was in the net? And then basically that just makes him in pain for like, you know, half an hour or an hour for uh, nothing, I guess. What's going through my mind is don't get stung right now just through the net. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, look at got that a really going. good hold. Wow, look at that abdomen going. I got a really good hold on her. It took me a minute to get the right hold, but the right hold is what is important. Now, I do have the glass capsule right here, so I'm hoping that I have the wherewithal after the sting to quickly pick up the glass enclosure and put it back over top of the wasp so it doesn't escape and we can get some more b-roll shots with it. But guys, do be aware that if I do immediately go into a state of paralysis, just let the wasp fly away. Don't try to grab it, don't do anything, it'll be back into the wild and everything will be fine. That thing is creepy looking. It looks like, you know, something from Alien vs. Predator. All right, Coyote. You okay, man? Your heart racing? A million miles a second. This is the most nervous I've ever been to take a sting or bite from anything. My hand Look is shaking. Look at his hand. Are you guys all ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Here's the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> I'm Coyote Peterson. And I'm, and I'm crazy. I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Let's go for it. One. Two. Here we go. Three. Oh, oh, ow! Oh. oh, he got it! He got it! You alright? That's intense! Oh my gosh! Oh! Okay. Tell me what you're feeling. John, I can't move my arm! It paralyzed his arm. So I guess it can actually paralyze a human. Now the question is, will it paralyze the rest of him so he can't move at all? He'll be like, frozen? Or would it just paralyze the arm? Because the wasp, it can paralyze tarantulas, right? But tarantulas aren't that big. So the amount of venom that comes out of the wasp is for like a tarantula, not a human. So if it paralyzes just the arm in the human, the rest of the venom might not be effective enough to uh, paralyze the rest of the human because there isn't enough venom. I think that's what's going to happen. So I think his arm might be paralyzed, but I don't think that much else will become paralyzed. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. <laughs> that is the most intense pain I've ever felt. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Kyrie Pearson doesn't cry though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I think I think most people in the situation of being stung by something, you know, that uh, painful, you know, I think it's acceptable. I think we'll give you a pass to cry. We'll give you a cry pass, all right? I think it's fine if you were to cry if you were stung by something that, uh, that dangerous. <laughs> It is! It's like my arm is in a state of paralysis right now! Ah. 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 How long does it last like this? Ah. 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 
Yeah, it's actually receding at this point. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, so that one didn't last as long as the, the, what was the one, the cow killer? That was before this one. And the cow killer one lasted, I think, I think they said it's like 30 minutes long. And this one, it only seems like it hasn't lasted that long, maybe like 10 minutes. So I guess, although it might be more painful, it's, uh, does, it doesn't last as long. That's what I think, I don't know. That zone right there is a hot radiating pain. And you can see the stinger where it went in right there, that red mark. I've read that it's like getting tased with a taser gun. I've never been tased before, but I can tell you that the pain is unbelievable right now. Oh, hold on, let me walk around for a second. Is his arm still like oh. frozen? Cause he, he's still in the gripping mode. Oh. Okay, okay. I don't know. Let's come back into the scene here. Oh, you little bugger. Okay, you can oh, open it. I am lightheaded at the moment, but the sting from the tarantula hawk is serious. I can see why it's ranked as a two on the insect sting pain index. And at this juncture, I think it's safe to say that I've worked my way up the ladder and am ready for the bullet ant challenge. I know you were all waiting in anticipation for that one. No, I, I already reacted to it before this. <laughs> I mean, I, I've really, like, screwed myself over by doing things backwards. But, uh, yeah, I think the bullet ant one was worse. It definitely lasted longer. I think he said, frick, was it like it can last up to, like, an hour or two for the bullet ant? I don't remember, but I know the bullet ant one lasted a lot longer. Like, you know, right here, Coyote Peterson is looking almost back to normal. But on the bullet ant one, no, he, he was like really messed up for a long time after it. Anyway guys, hope you liked this video. This was nuts. I still can't get over the fact that he's basically volunteering to do this to himself, which is very strange, but uh, it's also very entertaining at the same time. And this one, I think is actually really cool that it actually like paralyzed his arm. It would have been really dangerous if it paralyzed the rest of him because would your heart be affected by that as well? Because if your heart gets paralyzed and it's not able to pump, that's basically a heart attack and you're dead. So, you know, this could have gone, this could have gone downhill if, uh, if the venom was stronger. But anyway, if you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share with a friend if you're new, and subscribe with your other family today, and I'll see you guys next time. Boop!